Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video, another installation of a Wedding Wednesday, sort of. In today's video you'll probably have noticed from the thumbnail and the title, it's going to be a huge ASOS haul and a very specific ASOS haul because I'm on the hunt for some sort of bridal wear but like basically what I can wear on my Hindu, what I can wear on my honeymoon, that kind of vibe. So you can probably see behind me I've got a hell of a lot of well white and off-white dresses um and i think in total i've got 14 dresses to try on and i've also got one two three four five six seven pairs of shoes but they're all sandals i think what i'm going to do is start off with the sandals and then move on to the dresses i've already tried all of the dresses on and i've tried all the sandals on i just don't love any of the sandals um and the reason being is i definitely look at things thinking am i gonna wear these again time and time and time again and i just don't think i will with most of them purely because of the comfort levels so i'm gonna start with the sandals and then yeah we'll go from there quickly though before we get into today's haul i just wanted to talk to you guys about skillshare which is the online learning community that i am a member of i absolutely love it i've been using it for a while now and one of the reasons that i was so interested in joining skillshare was because you have access to thousands of ad free like courses and classes that you can just access whenever you want it's so so easy to use you can fit it around a really busy schedule and for me personally i like to do things like youtube video editing i like to do instagram and photo editing and also like building a business that is like a side hustle i guess you guys know that i talk about that kind of stuff all the time and Skillshare is really, really helping me learn how to do that. I actually had a course recently and it was called Finding Fulfillment Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career. And it was so helpful. I learned so many really useful tips on there that I was just like, this is so good for anyone that's got a side hustle that wants to like build that into a career. I absolutely like for me, 100% that is exactly how I'm using it. So I am really excited to say that Skillshare are offering the first 1000 people to use my discount code or the link in my description box, a free month trial of Skillshare. So you can figure out some stuff for yourself, whether you're looking to learn how to budget, whether you're looking to start a business or level up your existing business alongside whether that's like maternity leave or alongside your full time job, whatever it is that you're doing, I would definitely give Skillshare a go for the one month free trial using the link in the description box. But for now, let's get back into the video. Okay, so first up with the sandals, I got these ones. These are actually the only white ones that I got, but all of the sandals are very similar to this, like basically like platforms, I think they're called, like basically platforms that are flat because I do love a flat shoe because yeah my heels are just not really my thing i'm not gonna lie they've got the like um tie up bit that goes around like the ankle area which i have discovered is just not my thing i feel like i've got bony ankles or something but these buckles always tend to like rub on me and annoyingly about three of these sandals have this so if it wasn't for that and it was a different like fastener i think i would really like these but yeah they're just not not ones for me i don't think the other platforms that i got were just a bit too flat for me like they were just a bit much i do really like them i think they're a really nice like fashion piece but i don't think again i'm gonna get tons and tons of wear out of them so i don't think these ones are the right ones for me i do love the color though that like terracotta color is gorgeous i absolutely love it and it will definitely go with loads of these dresses because of the like neutral color of them but again i think the platform is just a bit intense for my liking. <laughs> Ones that were similar and I did really like were these. So these are more like a pretty standard sort of platform style and they like um i guess like birkenstock kind of style like those sandal like slider style and i could definitely see myself wearing these but they're a little bit casual i think for a hendu like bridal wear and stuff i would definitely think about keeping these for the honeymoon i would 100 percent wear these on a holiday and during the summer months in the uk as well so i do really like these but i already have a couple of like birkenstocks that i feel like i would use more because of the comfort so i'm not entirely sure if i I will wear these or not i do like them though they are cool and again you'll see a little theme i got these platforms but these ones are quite intense again with the platform i do quite like these ones i do think the color is 
gorgeous on them. I'm not sure about the white sole on them. I think I probably would wear these, but probably not for like the Hindu or honeymoon or anything like that. So I think these ones are going to be going back. And the next three are ones I actually do quite like. So I'm going to show you them now. So on of the three that I do really like, these are like the stone color ones that I do love. I just think they're quite classic. I know I'd get a lot of wear out of these when it came to the Hindu and the honeymoon and then like next season and summer as well. So these ones, however, do have the like ankle bit that normally doesn't really work around my ankles. Cause like I said, I've got bony ankles, but I have actually worn this when I was trying on all of the clothes and stuff. And it's quite a nice, like soft material. So I don't, I didn't get, and the buckle's not like too intense or anything. So I didn't like get a sore ankle and these like fit me really, really well and everything. So I think I am actually going to keep these ones. They are really, really nice and they were really affordable as well. What I'm gonna do is link every single thing that I'm talking about down in the description in order of how I've shown them. So I'll do all the shoes first. And then when I talk through the dresses, I'll link all of those like one to 14 as well. So hopefully then you don't have to order as much as me and you can just choose the things that you actually like. Um, so yeah, like I said, these ones, I think I probably will keep them actually. Having looked at them again, I do really like them like with the dresses and stuff. So yeah, I think I will keep those. They're a good little summer staple, I think. These were the other shoes that I did really like. These ones are more of a pinky and they're a suede color. Again, very similar. It's got like that espadrille type material on the bottom, flat forms, and it has also got like the tie thing. I don't know what these are called, like ankle tie things around the size they like cross over at the back and then they do up i do really like them they are really nice i do really love the look at these they are really gorgeous but i just feel like these ones are slightly better and they're a slightly more me and i think they'd go with more because of the color obviously this one is pink and this one's like more of a stone neutral color so yeah i think these ones are probably going to go back but i do really like them if this kind of light nudie pink is your color then definitely definitely worth a try because they are gorgeous and they do fit really really well and they're comfortable and then these are the last ones the last shoes that i got again flat forms standard me i would say that these ones are slightly more casual just because it's got this sort of straw kind of pattern along here the material is a little bit more rustic i would say like it is they are really lovely what i would say is these are like the perfect for me like the perfect holiday sandal you could wear these around the pool but you could also wear these of an evening out if you wanted to to, like they would look really nice you could definitely wear these around the pool they'd look really nice with like a long maxi dress they'd also look really nice like if you're going out for an evening in like summer dresses and stuff like that these these are like your go-to's I would keep these. I really like the way they fit as well. I think they look slightly more casual because of that, but they obviously are more comfortable because of that. So it's kind of like the toss up that you have to do. I like these ones. I'm umming and ahhing whether to keep them, but I'm definitely, I think it's between these ones and these ones. And I think if I'm thinking about Hindu and things like that, these ones win. But if I'm thinking about holiday, these ones win. So, and I don't feel like, I feel like they're too similar to keep both. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure, but these two are definitely my favorites. I will link everything down below in order of when I showed them and yeah, we'll get onto the dresses now. Right, so I've got 14 dresses and I split them into three categories. The first category is like a daytime, casual kind of white dresses. Like these are things, so if you're doing like a daytime, Hindu or even just want a white summer dress like for the daytime like if you're having barbecues like anything like that I think I would wear any one of these dresses in just like a normal summer's day um so like that's the first five dresses that I'm going to show you I know that there will be like a day element and a night element so I'm really hoping that one of these five dresses will like suit the kind of day so yeah fingers crossed the first one that I found was this long sleeve like balloon sleeve mini dress i loved it so much it's got a little tie waist here that you could do up at the front or the back if you wanted to it's got a really nice like collar here plus it's not actually see-through it's a white dress that isn't see-through and it's actually really lightweight and everything i was like wow i was wearing a nude bra and white underwear when i tried it on and i was up against a ring light and you couldn't see anything through it and i just thought that was that passes the test like for me i did really really like this one and actually weirdly enough when i was trying it on i did think it would look really nice if you did have a bump like if you were pregnant for example i just feel like after you've had a baby you think about these things because of the way it fits and everything like it's got plenty of space there so i did really 
really really like that one and I thought it'd be quite nice if you were going to do like something casual during the day it would just be a, like a really perfect little summer dress and I really like it just for a general dress anyway to have in the wardrobe next one was this really sweet little dress I love this so much it reminds me of like tea party kind of vibes I really love it um, again like it's just so gorgeous to have in your wardrobe like as a general dress like I wouldn't even think Hindu necessarily but this is just a lovely like summer's dress and I really love it it's got these lovely like sort of like puffy sleeves it's got the lovely little embroidery on it and it's got all the buttons down the front I just thought it was gorgeous it looks really nice with any of those sandals that I had on I just absolutely love this one it is quite casual like even for even like in the casual category this is quite casual so I wouldn't say like it's anything special but it is definitely a really lovely dress um like to have in your like summer wardrobe but not for like an occasion I don't think the next one was this gorgeous girl so honestly when I pulled this out I was like this is gorgeous the quality is so nice it's like an elasticated kind of material it is really gorgeous it did kind of give me like taylor swift vibes but i just loved it so much the only thing with this one is i got a size 10 and i think i should have sized down because this one um it just is because of the stretchiness of the material it just didn't fit me right so i had to put a belt on with it um and the belt made it more casual like and even that's fine because like i said this is like the casual category but say you were going for like a brunch or like a daytime thing this would definitely be a casual casual dress if you did belt it up i think it would look really nice if you didn't if you had a smaller size as well i just thought it was really pretty it could possibly be a little bit too busy for some people because it has got quite a lot of like pattern over it and stuff i do personally really, really like that but again it just depends on what your style is and if it was in the size that i actually needed then it probably would have been even better next up is like the cutest dress i've ever seen in my life it's just so gorgeous it's got these puff sleeves it's a wrap dress bright white and it's got the embroidery that the other dress had on it as well i just loved it i just thought it was so like simple but effective like really really gorgeous and again the white is not see-through like it absolutely covered everything i needed it to cover like i sometimes worry with wrap dresses that it wouldn't like cover this area but it absolutely did i did have a bra on with this one i think it would just depend on like your cup size as to whether this one would work for you i think if you were any bigger than me i'm a c then i think you would maybe want to just like pin this bit together but that is quite simple to do for the price of this one it was so affordable so i think i would definitely recommend it i loved it i really really love it and again this is a really nice casual day dress uh, for the summer months and then the last one is sort of not white so i probably wouldn't wear this for the hindu but i do love it so much it's perfect it's like for me this is like the perfect summer dress whether you're going on holiday or you're staying in the uk i really love it it's got this like crochet detail on the top so it's gonna be super comfortable i love that and i love the bottom of it as well it was just so me like i would be so comfortable in this during the summer and i just that is what summer's all about because i get so hot i think just having something like this in your wardrobe that you can chuck on and look nice is just an absolute must so i absolutely love this one so i'm really glad that i picked this one up i think this is something that i'll probably be wearing on our honeymoon and then again in the summer months like afterwards so they were all of the casual dresses that i tried on the next five dresses are definitely more like formal if you were doing something like a garden party or a tea party or like something like that i don't i mean i know that we're not doing that kind of thing for my hindu but i did just want to try some of these dresses on i did like, I was just intrigued by a couple of them. Some of them I absolutely didn't, did not like, but you will um, see what those ones are in just a second. So yeah, let me show you what those five more formal dresses look like. So I've had to move you because some of the dresses are a little bit long. This was the first one. It just was not me, but it is gorgeous. Like I do appreciate how nice this dress is. The quality is absolutely next level, like so so nice and if you were doing something where you could actually wear this like i don't know where you would be able to wear this like maybe like a garden party or like a really fancy like i don't even know maybe as a guest at a wedding i don't know because it's very close to white it's more of a like yellowy color i don't know how much that's coming up on camera but it is like a cream but like a bit 
yellowy i don't really know but i did love the quality of it it is a gorgeous dress i can appreciate it's got pockets i love all of that stuff but it just wasn't like I would never wear this, ever. Yeah, it's not one that I'm gonna keep. Okay, and then the next one was this one. It's very, like, vintage. It's really, I mean, it's gorgeous, it really is, but it's so not me. Like, it's really pretty, but almost to the extent where I feel like I'm in the Victorian ages. Like, it is a bit much for me. Um, I, yeah, I think it looked really nice, like, when I had the heels on and stuff, and if I saw someone out wearing this, I would think, oh, like, that's really nice. But it's just not my style and I think you've got to like recognise that if that's not your style and you would never wear it again then yeah I don't know how how worth it is. It just kind of reminds me of a Victorian nighty when it's off the hanger as well. I liked it when I was wearing it but yeah maybe it wasn't. I just don't think this one was for me. And then we got to this one. Again, something, I don't even know why I really picked this up because it's so not me. Again, something that you would wear to like a tea party or something really formal. It kind of gives me Bridgerton vibes. I love it. I think it's gorgeous, but it's just not me. Um, I think it's so pretty and the quality is insane. If this is something that you would be able to wear somewhere, get it it's gorgeous it's so nice i love the little cut out detail here i love the low back if you can pull off like the vintage vibes that this gives off again i would really recommend it the quality is insane it's a gorgeous dress i just cannot pull it off it's just so not me and then a dress that i think was me but unfortunately asos decided to give me a size that was astronomically too large for me it does however say on the label that it is a size eight. It's not a size eight. There's absolutely no way this is a size eight. It's probably, I don't know, like a size 18. I don't know, maybe they've just missed the one off, but it absolutely, it just didn't look right on me. When I pulled it together, when I was trying it on, it looked all right. Like I can imagine if this was the right size for me, it would look really nice. Um, but obviously in this size, it just didn't, and it drowned me and it didn't look right at all. It's hard for me to judge when it was just so like the wrong size completely and then finally in this section i've got what i feel like is the absolute dress of dreams i love this so much i like everything about this dress is amazing i love it i love it so 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 much i'm keeping this 100 percent. it is the ultimate summer dress for me like i I'm obsessed with this. I'm definitely, definitely gonna be wearing this on the honeymoon. I'm not entirely sure if it's um, Hindu vibes. I'm not sure because I don't know what we're doing. But if we were going out in the day, for example, and it was like a nice summer's day and we were doing something like outside, I would 100% wear this. I love this for holidays. I love this for baby showers. I love this. Honestly, I can. I, this is gonna be my go-to dress this summer, I promise you. So yeah, I'm 100% keeping this one. It's an absolute tick from me. And then the last four dresses are in the sort of going out dresses category. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't thrive in this area and that is simply because I don't go out. I don't know what to do <laughs> when I go out. I don't know what this is. So um, yeah, the dresses didn't really hit the mark and that's definitely my fault. I just don't really know what I would wear if I was going out because I just don't know if I'll feel comfortable in a lot of stuff. So anyway, let me show you the four dresses that I got and you can leave your judgments in the comment section. The first one, actually, I did really like, let me just take this off. So I did really like this one. I'm not sure if it is really going out. I don't really know. It's like a really lovely dress. So I just put it in this category. It's got a really lovely embroidery. It's very heavy. Like it's really like the material is really weighty and like a really nice material and like certainly better quality than most other like just dresses that I've had so I, I like that element of it what I loved is the back so it's a low back and it's got this sort of um bow tie thing obviously it comes completely undone and then you tie it up at like the kind of tightness that you want it to be tightened and it actually has one of the best qualities ever of this dress is it has a little pop up at the front here to pop this bit closed how good is that? Because most dresses, I don't know what it is, if they're like slightly low cut, 
they like just gape open whereas this one's got a little popper which i thought was good the one thing with this is i think this material where the back is there's just a little bit too much material it needs to be a little bit tighter and then bring it up slightly um and then then it would be perfect but i do i do really love it it's definitely a really really lovely quality dress honestly if you're looking for any kind of sort of lovely summer dress like this definitely try this one because you, your body might fit it slightly differently but I, I yeah i do love it and it's definitely worth a go i would definitely say if you are between sizes size down this is a size eight and it was actually a slightly bit like too big next up was a blazer dress this firstly it's not white it's very cream um i don't know again how much that's coming up on camera it's very cream and i really despise these buttons they're so gold and like just tacky frankly i really expected more because this is originally from miss selfridge and i've got loads of stuff from miss selfridge in the past that i've really loved and i thought it always looked quite classy but this one just really was a no and again i got this in a size 10 and it just was so massive um i don't know whether that's like the style is that cool these days i don't know but i just maybe i've just chosen the wrong one it just wasn't for me at all you'll definitely be able to see from the try on clips that i um yeah just just no the next one was this bad boy so I actually really liked this one. I did really like it. Again, I'm not entirely sure if it was like going out vibes. I, I feel like it probably is because of how puffy the skirt is. I feel like you wouldn't just wear a puffy skirt like this on the daily. I think I should have got a size smaller again because there's quite a lot of excess material at the top, but it was gorgeous. It's got the lovely sleeves and I just loved the back because it's like an open back kind of vibe. It's got a little tie that you do up at the back. And like I said, it's got this like puffy skirt situation going on i think maybe slightly too puffy maybe and i should have obviously ironed it but i don't know whether i'm keeping it or not so i don't i haven't done that yet and i think it would definitely look better once ironed but yeah let me know what you guys think on the try on clips because i did really like this one and it was a contender but i'm still not 100 percent sold and if i do go for it i think i probably will size down but then i'm worried it's gonna be too short I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. In terms of the quality though, absolutely second to none. Lovely. Like the stitching, everything's just so nice on it. And that's just like a rare thing these days. So like the quality is really, really gorgeous. Um, that is just something I would say. So yeah, I do like it, but I definitely need your advice. <laughs> okay. And then the last one was also a sort of blazer dress, but this one's like more of a blazer vest dress, I guess. And I loved it. I thought it looked so nice. I really, really liked it. I felt really comfortable in it. It covered up like where I wanted it to cover up. It was like not too short or anything. I just genuinely really liked it. This is very much like in my comfort zone in terms of like going out attire. Like I feel like I would, I would like to wear this. I would feel comfortable wearing this. So I, I, I just, yeah, I can't really say anything bad about it. Like I do really love it. I know that I would definitely love wearing it on a night out for my Hindu if we end up doing something like that. So yeah, I do love this one. Um, and I would love to know what you guys think in terms of the style of it. It's quite different compared to the other ones. The other ones are more like girly and frilly and like, n like pretty dresses. Whereas this one I feel like is more like clean and like simple but but realistically that's so me like i'm so just like give me something give me the basics but do the basics well that's like that's how i like to dress and i feel like this is that so um yeah of all of them the night out ones anyway this is the one that i know that i'd feel most comfortable in but yeah what do you guys think so yeah that is everything that i picked up from asos hopefully in amongst some of these things are going to be my outfit for the hendu and maybe some outfits for the honeymoon for example um, and also just some summer stuff like i think white dresses are just like nice summer items to have like white is probably my favorite color to wear in the summer anyway let me know what your favorite things were down below if you would keep anything if you wouldn't let me know um and i'll number them like i said down in the description box so if you're talking about them in the comment section you know which one to like refer to thank you so so much for watching please let me know what you guys think and help me out in terms of how i'm going to choose between any of these dresses or if i should just like try something completely different but yeah for now i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one bye Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby